else is going guys uh, that video that you just saw from the intro that's the one that I'll be sharing with you guys today so on this video um, my camera movement it's just a very simple camera movement slow-mo that you can use for b-roll for your vlog for your video this uh, simple technique you can use it whether you're indoor or outdoor so if you guys ready I'm ready so let's start this Okay, so before we start uh, shooting our B-rolls, uh, make sure that your camera is either on 120p setting or 60p so we can do the slow-mo later on on, the, on, on a 24p uh, sequence. Uh, Sam camera has that automatic uh, slow motion feature already, but if you don't have, you can either shoot it on 120p or 60p. With this one, I will be, I will be doing a 120p so it will be more smoother because it's going to be more slower, but if you don't have the 120p, you can use the 60p. So for our first uh, clip, it will be the crane move. Just handheld um, where you will just move your camera vertically. The reason it's crane move because you're mimicking the crane movement. So you're just holding the camera, moving it vertically, whether going up or going down, and then tilting your camera to stay focused on the subject that you're shooting. So again, this is the camera movement. Okay, for the next camera movement, it's very simple. It's the orbit movement. You're moving the camera horizontally, and then at the same time, you're panning it to keep your camera on your subject. It's like, this is your subject, this is your camera. The reason it's called orbit move, it's because like it's orbiting around your subject, just like this. Okay, for the, our third camera movement, it's the dolly in or the dolly out, where you're just zooming in moving your camera forward or moving your camera backward and usually I use that shot for the ending or the intro like zooming out at the end or in the beginning or in the intro where it's zooming in which I do that sometimes and then once you already shot all your b-rolls just import it in your uh, editing software and once you already imported it don't forget to modify your footages since they were shot either in 120p or 60p. You modify it to 24p or, or, or 25p. It depends on the location that you are at. Yeah, modify it to 24p. Once you do that, it will become slow motion. Lay them out, put them together, edit it, put it next to each other. And you can be fancy with the transition by doing a speed ramp just like this to create those transitions where you do a speed ramp at the end of the clip and then at the next beginning of the clip, another speed transition. And you can also add that um, in-camera transition that I did a tutorial about that. Uh, you can check that out on this card. And that's how you create a slow-mo b-roll for your video. Uh, simple camera movement, simple editing, transition, and create that cool video. And that's it, guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Press that like button. And I'll see you guys next time, all right?